Ukrainian soldiers who have surrendered at the Azovstal steelworks in Mariupol on Friday were taken by buses escorted by Russian-backed forces to a former penal colony in a Russian-controlled town near Donetsk. Hundreds of Ukrainian fighters have surrendered from the labyrinth of bunkers and tunnels below the Azovstal plant. Moscow and Kyiv have given different estimates on the total number of troops surrendered into Russian captivity. Russia said that by Friday it was up to 2,000. And it's unclear how many fighters remained inside the besieged plant. A commander of Ukraine's Azov regiment confirmed an order had been issued to stop defending Mariupol and that all civilians had now been evacuated. Regardless of heavy fighting, perimeter defence and the absence of supplies, we have constantly emphasised the three most important conditions for us. Civilians, wounded and the dead. The civilians have been evacuated. The heavily wounded received the necessary assistance and they were evacuated, to be later exchanged and delivered to territory controlled by Ukraine. With regards to the fallen heroes, the process continues, and I hope that in the near future, relatives and Ukraine will be able to bury their soldiers with honour. Glory to Ukraine! Ukrainian officials say they will negotiate a prisoner swap with Moscow, although there has been sinister comments from the Kremlin, who signalled they may interrogate the Azov fighters. Despite this commentary, a defence and foreign policy expert is hopeful the captives will be exchanged as promised. I'm a little bit more hopeful on this one getting worked out for the simple reason that Ukraine has lots of Russian prisoners and there is a natural swapping process that can occur in these kind of conflicts and to my understanding has been happening in this one. So while I share the anxieties uh, and the uncertainties of not knowing exactly what's next and certainly the Russian prosecutor uh, gives plenty of reason for concern, I still feel like on balance, it was better that they surrender and better that they trust their fate in not so much in Putin's generosity or, or, or grace, but rather in his own self-interest in getting some Russian soldiers liberated. Russia needs Mariupol, one of Ukraine's main seaports, to cement its control of land it has seized along the coast, reaching all the way west to annexed Crimea. Valerie Brown, The Sun.